Hello. Hello, people. How are you? How am I? I don't know. I'm hungry right now because it's dinner time, but instead of eating, I am fasting and coming to you live with this video right now. That's right. Right now we are live because, I mean, what is more important than eating? You guys. You guys. And walking my dog. He really needs a walk right now. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hi, everybody. See my shirt? You know what it says? It says subscribe. That's right. What's up, cousin? How are you? Mm. Drinking my essential oil water. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You know, I feel like a hippie in the woods right now. That's what quarantine has taught me. And thank you guys for sharing this. I see all the little buttons on here that says shares. You guys are the sweetest. Because of you guys, I'm able to do this. And that's what kind of tells Facebook, the algorithm, to like keep supporting the content. If you share, if you like, if you comment, all of those things helps me uh, you know, live in quarantine without any work because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to act again. Not because of the quarantine, but because acting is really hard super hard you just never know when you're gonna actually work or somebody's gonna want you or you know you all have to know somebody and i don't know if anyone's here knows anybody that's casting something but you could just send them this video of, of me begging crying for for work right now what the hell is that as like a large animal jumps out of the bushes and eats me <laughs> it's like that was really scary I'm, i've been terrified me and the neighbors we've been talking about the bears in the area Shit, there's really an animal back there and I hear it. Um, <laughs> damn. All right. Maybe it's a bird. I'm hoping it's a bird and not a real big animal. It's watching TV and looking at you. Thank you guys. I'm glad I could be the background noise to your TV. I go and film videos in, in the house and my father says, Lauren, I'm trying to watch TV. Get out. That's why I've been outside. That's why I have to record before it gets dark out. Oh my God, the bugs are biting me because my father's watching TV and my legs have so many bug bites on them now. You have no idea. Hello. Oh, thank you guys. Somebody said you are beautiful looking beautiful. Thank you guys. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, right? Don't, isn't that a saying that people say? Because we all have different versions of what we think is beautiful. Like when I look at women in magazines, I'm like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. But you know, you may meet them in person and they may be just horrible, awful people. Cause that's, that's, that's the most important thing, guys. And you should, you should realize this before you go finding your true love or finding someone to marry. It's like, you wanna be sure that person has like a beautiful heart because, you know, beauty fades. In 20 years from now, I'm not gonna look like this. Hopefully, I mean, knock on wood, hopefully I'll look like this with the right amounts of plastic surgery, but you never know, you never know. So, so you gotta make sure that person that you like or in love with or marry, whatever, is nice. I'm sorry, guys. I just. I've been getting bit by bugs. There's there's lots of animals here that are sucking my blood. It's kind of um, symbolic to everyday life. You know, we all have those people who try to try to suck our energy out, and the bugs right now. They're since I have no friends, all of my friends are gone somewhere in quarantine by themselves. Hello, how is your Sunday? Sunday doesn't feel like Sunday. I don't know. It just feels like Groundhog Day. There's no more seven days of the week. I used to post memes every day about like different days of the week. And I looked at the memes I was going to post. I was looking at like, I think it was Friday. On Friday, I was looking at Friday memes. And I was just like, it's not even like a Friday. It's like a, it's like a Groundhog Day again. There's no more days of a week for me anyway. For those of you that actually still have jobs that you probably have a day of the week. You're 100. Oh, what's up, Lisa? How are you? I'm just stressed because I, I, I sat out here as filming some videos and there are little bug bites all over my legs right now. It's really frustrating. Oh my goodness. How did you get a shoulder inj injury? Oh, thank you so much, Timothy. You're sweet. He said, you're going to look amazing in 20 years. You never know. Women age, sorry, girls out there. It's, it's, it's horrible. Like I, I'll see guys get older and you look at them and like every day they look hotter and women age. It's like the opposite. So that's why girls, women watching, we have to really take care of ourselves because freaking, I don't know. God just blessed men when they get older, they just get sexier. Women have to really work on themselves. Oh, there you are, mommy. Yeah. What's wrong? She's running away. She doesn't want to be on camera now. No, she, 
she got very upset. I tried to put her in a video and she was just like, no. Tina says hi. Hi, Tina. You need insect repellent. I know, I definitely do. I put some on that was like uh, essential oil, but I guess it didn't work. George, are you ready for the walk? Are you ready to go for a walk? Poop up? Take a walk? I'm trying to find his leash. All right, tell me about it. Yes, Tina, you wanna say hi to my dad? He's watching TV right now and does not wanna be on camera. There's my dad. <laughs> he just looks like miserable. George, you ready to go? Come on. George is like not ready to go. Look, this is George all day today. It's been a hot day. He likes his bean bag. Can we go take a walk, George? Ooh, that's a weird lighting. That's a weird lighting. Okay, my dad is watching some movie right now. Perry Mason, oh my goodness. My dad is binge watching Perry Mason right now. Come on, George, let's go. Come on, baby, can we go? Let's go, come on. Right, hold on, guys, I gotta pick him up off of this thing. Hold on. Okay, come on, baby. All right, all right, all right, all right, George, you're the best. Mm. Come on, let's go take a walk. Let's go. You got to go. My dad is very annoyed right now. Okay. Oh, essential oils good for, for guys too? Yes, essential oils are great. I love them. I'm so addicted to them. All right, hold on a second. Hello. Oh my goodness, oops. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh boy, oh my God. Oh, George, I'm sorry. My dad, we're, my dad brought all the cushions in from outside and they all just fell blocking the way. Oh, Tina said, tell him the Yankees are winning one to nothing. It doesn't matter. My, dad, my dad's very upset he can't watch the Yankees right now. He has not been in a good mood about this. For some reason, ESPN has blocked the viewing in our area for the Yankee games. I don't know why. He thinks it's a conspiracy. They just don't want him to watch the Yankees. <laughs> so, Mom, you want to come with us or no? No, I can't. All right. All right, let's go. Let's do this, George. Let's do it. Hi. What's for dinner? Lasagna. Nothing like a true Italian family than eating lasagna every day for dinner. Oh my goodness, I've, I'm so itchy from all these bugs biting me. It, I have to go back to LA, but it's so nice to just, like today we swam on the lake, like three hours. I just sat in the water with my mom, it was beautiful. Just floated on floaties. It's like the most fun ever. I was like, why would not, why would not? Why wouldn't anyone want to just swim in the lake for like, ever? Let's see, do we get any mail, George? No mail. I'm supposed to get some packages. Oh, follow Brazil to the back. Okay. Oh. Especially when my legs are itchy from all the bug bites on my legs. It's very frustrating. And I wanted to make a cake, but I think we're going to have to go back to New York soon. Is Garfield coming for dinner? That was my favorite TV show growing up. I always wanted a cat just like him. You know, Garfield was the best. <laughs> Nice. Hello, my beautiful friend. Hey guys, sorry, I just, every couple of steps, I feel like a bug is biting me. That is, that is today's science. Um, I've been okay. I have to see a, when are we gonna record our reaction videos if we go back to New York? I might have to take a break today from reacting. It's hard, it's hard to upload every day. I should do like a, I should, that's, I wanted to do a double upload, a double reaction. We got two dishes. George, we gotta go. We're in somebody's house. We can't, you can't pee on everything. I get like distracted. I don't even know what that is, Scott. What is 620 for 12 for bugs? I don't like this. A lot of the stuff going on is uh, cancerous. A lot of the stuff that we use is cancerous. So I just always try to make sure that all the stuff we use is safe, you know? Calamine lotion. Ooh, calamine lotion is the best, actually. That is one of the best things. Oh, nice, Dennis. Well, I might have to go back there. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to go back or not. Um, 
does it get old getting a lot of male attention? You know, it's just, uh, I like getting attention, you know, regardless. <laughs> it's good to have people that watch the live streams, you know? So. Come on, George. Come on, George. Ah. Somebody said... <laughs> you have a cabin, Casey? <sighs> What's? I'm sorry about this. It keeps freezing. Somebody asked, what do you do on a first date? All right, first date, you don't want to mess it up. First dates are important, you know? Oh no, what happened to that really pretty flower that was here? It's gone, somebody picked the flower. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That's so sad. Oh. Well, this is life. Um, first dates, you wanna to talk to the person. So you just wanna make sure that you can have a nice conversation. Now it's kind of hard because we're in this time of life where you don't know if you can meet people or not. Um, I've gotten a bunch of people send me their coronavirus tests. So, I mean, I guess that's nice. I think a first date now, nowadays could be a, a FaceTime or a Zoom call. And just, you know, maybe meet for like a coffee Zoom call <laughs> now, now that this is our life. I can't believe I'm talking about like quarantine dating options. Yeah. It's definitely... Definitely a thing. Quarantine dating options. Tina, watch it. what channel is the Yankee game on. <laughs> oh, nice. And Gat where's Gatlinburg? George, where did you poo? I don't even see any poo. Those in the bushes. I don't see it. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Coffee. Coffee call time. I mean, it's crazy. That's what we've kind of come to now you know it's it's scary and it's not worth it i feel like i've gotten tons of people asking me out on dates but i i've said no to like successful people too like i have to take care of my family so i'm not dating right now i feel like a lot of people aren't really dating but you might find some people who are like i have a friend who she signed up to some dating sites and she found somebody but it didn't work out um, but yeah. Hey, Michelle, how are you? I mean, it, it really depends on the person. Really. Zoom and coffee. Yeah. And maybe like you can do a whole share screen thing and watch a movie together. You know, if you have a Netflix account, you could put the share screen on, watch a movie together. That could be cute. Yeah, some people you work with, you know, you just got to find somebody open-minded. That's the main thing. You just got to be open-minded. Because if anyone has issues, then it's not going to work out. With any which way how you feel. Yeah, there's tons of dating sites. But I would just say, I would just say be careful about meeting people in real life right now. Because you don't know, like, who else they're going on dates with. You know? You want to make sure that they're... They're, you know, not sick. Amazon Prime, yes. An Amazon Prime date. Oh, you got some rain. You're in London, right? Or in the UK. They have rain there. Hi. Ask open-ended questions. That's good, that's good advice, Tina. Open-ended questions, yes. Pretend you're interested. <laughs> you can tell I've been on a lot of really bad dates. <laughs> like, don't be rude. Um, very true. Uh, don't yawn. Oh my God. That is the biggest pet peeve of mine. If I'm like talking to a guy and he starts like yawning, that's it. It's over. I'm like, I already bore him. <laughs> so those are my, those are my first date advice. And if you do venture out into the real world and go on a date, I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff. There's some people like partying, like having these like, coronavirus parties 
Oh my goodness, Ada, I'm sending you lots of love and prayers. I hope she gets better ASAP. That's terrifying. I'm sending you prayers. Most, some people in dating sites, yeah, Michelle, lots of people will, um, will try to catfish you. That's happened to me several times. I've been catfished. Or not even like, I mean, that's happened when they, cat, they catfish you. But another way they catfish you is like, they say they're one thing and then you meet them. And then you start dating them and then they turn into somebody else. That is like the master catfish. They're like, yeah, I love eating meat. And then all of a sudden you find out they're a vegan. It's just like, I thought we had all these things in common, but we don't. Um, meet your love at a laundromat because you'll both have clean clothes. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> Although I am not going anywhere right now. It's part of... Uh, Part of the only place I go is in the lake. <laughs> That's all. That's the only place I go. Oh boy, George. You wanna go back home already? Okay, George. Favorite food, Italian, lasagna, you know, pizza, spaghetti, meatballs. <laughs> I mean, tacos and Indian food are all, and Thai food are also really up there, but because I'm Italian, it's just like, it just reminds me of home, you know? I see a, a plate of pasta, it's like I think about my parents. I'm like, I'm like, it's familiar to me. Hey, slim, cute. I've been working out every day and I feel like it's been really helping. I've been working out, I've been eating healthier, not as much, like I just try to eat like half of the servings I was having before this quarantine. So that's good. Better off not going out. Yeah, but guys, if you do go out on dates, which I don't advise it, I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I know some people are getting lonely. It's hard being by yourself. Um, I would just say make sure you pay for the girl, you know, or, you know, or girls, if you're with a guy, I would try, you know, he should pay for you if it's a date. That's all. That's my advice for you. <laughs> a real New Yorker. Yeah, I guess I am. Pizza's number one. Yes, pizza's so good. Oh my God. Pizza is bomb. What type of men do you date? Nice ones? Um, funny guys. I like funny guys. I don't know. Actors, filmmakers, people in the same field, but I have a feeling that like those haven't worked out. So I should date somebody who's like totally different. Um, I love Indian food. And I've been thinking about Indian food for a while because I haven't been going out to eat at all. So I would love to have some Saj veneer. That's my favorite. Oh, my God. Yeah, as soon as I get back to L.A., I'm going to have some. I, like, my parents don't let me go anywhere. So, yeah. Um, I just, um, I am not a material girl. I've dated lots of poor guys. Um, but it sucks to date poor guys, I've realized. Um, so they have to be able to like pay for themselves. That's all. Uh, do you ever wash your hair? I actually washed it today. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, I was in the lake all day, so I washed it, but it is oily from all the essential oils I've been using. I haven't, I haven't had to like shoot, you know, normally when I shoot my YouTube videos, I have to like blow my hair out and do stuff, but I haven't been, George, George, George are you okay? You too hot? Hold on, guys. This way. Okay, that was weird. There's, there's like two rabbits, and he just like started looking at the rabbits and breathing super heavy, like he was, like <laughs> it was kind of scary. Come on, George. Boy, I feel like thirteen again. Yeah, I do feel like I'm. I, I feel like I'm grounded. I do. They have to have a job. Yes, Tina, that's what I've realized. Because if they don't have a job, you have to pay for them. And at first, it's fine. But then when you're paying for, like, everything, it gets really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. So, so that's, uh, that's, that's my thing. But I don't know. I've dated really wealthy guys, too. And they feel like they can control you. I don't like that. I don't want, I don't want anyone to think that they can, like, you know, just totally control my life. Your hair looks fine. Thank you, Robert. I, I wish I didn't have so many itchy bug bites on my legs. 
but this is life. George and I are just walking, trying to get home. He has his chemo tomorrow, so that's horrible. I'm nervous about it. Second dose of chemo. Oh boy, this whole like experience of cancer really sucks. That's what I've learned. It just definitely sucks. Um, Charles said, do you like your men your age or older? Um, it just depends on the guy, you know? George, where are you going? Are you just, you can't go in this people's, that's her house, George. No, that's her house, George. Come on, this way. George, come on, out of their driveway. Come on, out, out, out. No, we're not, we're going home, George. Jeez, George. No, we're going home, George. No, 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 no. What are you smelling? I feel very embarrassed because he refuses to get out of these people's driveway. George, this is really bad. There's a car coming. What are you smelling? Come on. Let's go. Oh, boy. Yankee Mets game, not ESBM. Maybe your dad gets it. What's the, what's the, what's it on? Come on, George. No, you can't smell over here. I think there must have been like an animal or something. He's going nuts, like just smelling the ground. Come on, George. Do I have to pick you up? Do I have to pick you up? You got to go home. A guy who works but doesn't have too much money that he thinks he can control you. <laughs> like a janitor then? <laughs> I don't know. Just a nice guy, guys. I think it's important to find a nice guy. But right now... I'm not dating. I am in quarantine with my parents. I'm reading books. I'm working out. I'm hanging out with my parents. So I'm not interested in that. You know, but you guys can find somebody really nice, hopefully. You know, you just got to be open-minded. Really. That's what you have to be, is open-minded. And you got to make sure that they're normal people. There's a lot of crazy people everywhere. That's the thing. Yes, Johnny, it's how you respect each other, how you treat each other, if they're nice, you know. Dan said, I'm sick and not funny. Well, you can work on being funny and you can, you know, try to get better. Pick them up. Well, how do I pick them up and then hold the phone at the same time that I'd have to end this live stream? Scores, Yankees too. Who won yesterday, Tina? Do you know? Oh, that's what it was. George was across from a big dog, like, smelling, waiting for the dog to come closer. He's so funny. You're so funny, George. You're trying to play with other dogs? It's hot. Can we go home? Sports New York Channel. I think my dad, after yesterday, has given up. He's given up. He got really upset. He was so pissed off he couldn't watch the Yankees yesterday. It was a thing. It was a thing of me trying to help him while he screamed at the TV set. <laughs> it was awful. It's an awful experience that I don't want to relive right now by telling you about it. Never try to change. Yeah, Gary, that's true too. I, ha I dated a guy that was an alcoholic and um, it didn't work out. I tried everything. Like I introduced him to like other people in the program and they were just like, he has to really rock bottom and like bottom out before he like decides to like change. So that didn't work out, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Oh, they won yesterday, that's good. That's good that they won. Come on, George, no, we're not walking this way. Remember yesterday, Shannon is sleeping now probably. Come on, George. George, no, we gotta go home. No, George, he's so bad. No, stop, stop, come on, this way go home come on all right he's not listening George it's hot don't you want to go home he totally walks me he just totally walks me anyway is there meat in the lasagna tonight no my mom was talking about that today she was just like I'm sure I would like the lasagna more if there were meat in it I was like yeah but there's more calories though if there's meat I don't know. I'd rather, I like it without the meat, but don't tell her that. I told her she could put it in there next time. I was like, you can add meat next time in the lasagna. So we'll see. We will see. 
Um, but yeah. What's up, Ryan? How are you? And thank you guys again for sharing this video and joining me on this random walk of the dog. George and I are walking. George, I don't think she likes you going up her driveway. I don't think she's okay with it. I think I, after yesterday almost waking her up, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to, like, bother her anymore. <laughs> How come George doesn't have any toys? Oh, my God, George has so many toys. Are you kidding me? He has, like, a lot of toys. George loves toys. Um, who are you planning on interviewing next? Well, I don't I was supposed to talk to Karim today. I don't know what happened. I haven't heard from her. I hope everything's okay. She did this video where she camped in her backyard, so I hope it's okay. Um, I'm actually going to the, um, the dermatologist that we met last week, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, uh, I have to plan an interview. I might hit up, I'm going to try to hit up Jeremy Piven, I think. <laughs> yes, love pastas and vegetables. I know, I've been trying to like I've been reading all this stuff about, like, uh, shrinking your belly. And they say, like, you have to, like, the fist rule. It's, like, a fist of, like, each thing. Like, two of two fists of vegetables, one of proteins, one of meat. What's up, Kim? How are you? I'm just walking, George. George, can we go turn around now? Can we go back home? Come on. Are you walking me to Pepe's house? Is that where you're trying to go? That's his best friend. Oh, a little cute rabbit. Come on, George. No. Where are you smelling to? All right, George, it's really getting kind of dark. We've got to go home now. I'm sorry. Do you bathe Ju George or use a groomer? Well, honestly, ever since his heart um, stuff, it's really hard. Like, the last time I went to bring him to a groomer, they were like, didn't want to do it because of his heart failure episodes. So, um, I've just been doing it myself recently at like after surgery. Uh, he needs definitely to go to the groomer. There's a guy in Miami I really liked that was like awesome at grooming him and did it like in front of us. But a lot of those places, like I know Petco, they make you drop them off. And I just, after his heart failure, I don't want to do anything that's going to stress him out. Like it was so expensive to fix his heart. So I just do it myself, and it, that, that stresses him out enough. He does not like it. I am not dating anyone right now, but thank you for the offer. Oh, they pull you towards your house? Willow, my, my dog pulls me away from the house, even if he's tired. All right, George, we have to turn around now. Come on. No. Let's go home. Oh, thank you so much, Kim. You're sweet. Come on, George. We got to go home. We got to go home. I gotta go home. Oh, I had a cousin named Kim. I miss her. I like that name. I always love that name. How are you? I'm okay. I'm kind of hungry, but you know, we're just live. I have bug bites everywhere. Kind of frustrated about the bug bites, but this is life. I want to get a bird feeder here. So, oh, okay. So I can look at all the birds. George is now going to the bathroom again. Let's see. I don't really see much. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Be careful out there. Hello, honey. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, guys. If I could eat lasagna every day, I would be a happy person. Oh, look at those cute little rabbits. Oh my goodness. How cute are they? Look, do you see them? There's just rabbits everywhere. I'm watching live videos every day. Thank you guys for watching my videos and hang, hanging out with me. You have all definitely made this, this time less frustrating and sad. <laughs> Being able to live stream has helped. Have you got any shorts or comedy? Of, I, I, <laughs> it's funny, me and my mom, like I come up with ideas in the water and then I forget them. I feel like, what was the idea about? Oh, we had the funniest idea. I have to ask my mom. Oh, my mom, we were talking about like acting jobs and how I'm like not getting any right now because there's barely any. And she was like, have you ever tried to be a weather girl? And I was like, I had this like, I was like, that would be a funny sketch. And it's like, I like, I go into like the dream state and I'm like the sexy weather girl. And I'm like telling the weather and they're like, and I'm like, what weather is it today? 
well, it's a side of pandemic with a little bit of virus, you know, like, just like how no one, I don't really care about the weather anymore, you know, it's crazy. George, we cannot, this is not, we can't go up her driveway. She doesn't like it. She's going to bed right now. Let's go. Come on. No, we cannot go up the driveway. He really, really wants to go say hi to Clifford. It's really sad if you What's up, Steven? How are you? Oh, is that thunder? That is totally thunder. Okay, George, we got to go home. I don't know why. As soon as I talk, start talking about the weather, I start hearing thunder. Okay, George, come on. I think George heard the thunder too. George is like, oh, I am not playing. I'm like, yeah, George. Thunder is not fun. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. How do you get a job doing the weather, guys? You want to you wanna take a walk? That's what I tell George. There's a Dorencho heading that way. Great. Thank you, Robert Star Phoenix, for telling me about the rain. Possibly snow. It was definitely a... Uh, it was definitely thunder. Like, Shannon goes to bed at 8 o'clock. I know she's probably sleeping already. How do people go to bed so early? I don't get it. Like, last night I was up all night. I've been addicted to this show. I get addicted to TV shows and I just binge watch all night. That's cool, Tina. Here it's uh, definitely, that was definitely thunder. Just trying to stay away from the woods area. And submit to news stations. What's up, Robert? How are you? I feel like, okay, the weather today is a side of TikTok with a little bit of Facebook and then some YouTube late, late at night. <laughs> we post our reaction videos. And then after the YouTube comes the Patreon. <laughs> oh, Robert, you're an interesting person. <laughs> Very interesting. I am um, walking in the woods right now. Trying to get home. Not trampled by any animals. George, come on. Of course, he like stops at the same spaces. And I'm just walking. Alright, somebody said, you would hail in Maine? Well, at least you're in Maine, you know? At least you're in like the, a nice... That's something, so I'm trying to decide if I should go back to L.A. or not. What's up, Leslie? How are you? Good to see, good to see a, a woman in here. Please share this. Help me find other women to be in my, my page. <laughs> no offense, guys. Um, I love the singing video. It wasn't me actually singing, I swear. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've been trying to post more funny videos and do more funny things. It's hard. It's so hard. But yeah, I forget what I was saying before this. What was I saying? Where are you going now? Um, home. Oh, I was talking about uh, if I should leave here and go back to California. Well, see, it's really nice to go swimming here and be with my mom. You know, that's one thing that I really enjoy. Um, but I have my house in LA, you know, oh, and I haven't been there. And I don't know when they if they sent a stimulus check, but I haven't seen my mail. So like, oh my goodness, Michelle, that's scary. I always get scared here too because the trees are like really big. There was a 200 year old tree that like fell and like broke our neighbor's house from our lawn. It sucked. It sucks so, so bad. It's like, and if it rains, like that's when the trees fall because the ground gets all soggy. That's so, Robert, why is that? You know, I think you guys have to, um, uh, what's it called? You have to turn your notifications on. You come here, I come to you. I should, I should do a video telling people to turn their notifications on. That's like one of the things that frustrates me about YouTube. It's like I have 300,000 subscribers, but like I'll do a video and no one gets it. So I kind of just like stopped doing it because I just got frustrated although it is the only platform that I make money on so I should continue to do it you know it's like 
when the universe isn't working, you just have to keep pushing harder sometimes. Or like, I don't know, or there's quotes, I forget what the quote is. It's like, if, if, um, if the door isn't open, go to another door. <laughs> like, go knock on another door. I feel like that's a showbiz quote. Like, I don't know. Stay with your parents. We may or may not get a second stimulus chip. Does your mom have old hippie clothes for a psychedelic sketch? Yeah, it was so funny. I wore a dress yesterday. One of uh, one of my old friends hit me up saying like, does your mom not want any of her clothes? I'll take them. How do they hide? That's so weird, Robert. I'm going to screenshot that. So I guess like you have... Sorry, guys. Wait. What do you mean, Robert, that they hide where to find my videos now? I just, I just screenshot that so I can like send it. When one door closes, another door opens. Oh, there's another, there's another quote that somebody gave me. I forget what it was. Lauren, do you have anything storing mail or anything for you in LA for you? No, no, I do not. I have a, I have a, I had a friend go to my PO box. You, YouTube deleted some videos and lives I watched. That's so weird. That's so weird. I have a neighbor. She, she like goes to my house. My neighbor is awesome. She's the coolest. <laughs> she called me before I went live and she was just like talking. I was like, I have to go live before it gets late. She was like, oh God. Oh God, Lauren. I don't think like when you meet people in real life, they don't get it. They're like, what do you do? Like you don't understand. What is this Patreon thing you talk about? So I have a Patreon page and that's how, I, that's the only way really I make money. Um, people like pay for content. So every day I live stream there for $5 a month. So it's like extra content. So I read, I do reading videos, I do cooking videos. I do a lot of stuff. Generally, when you try to find video script, it's buried in the menu now. And if you don't know how to navigate it, you'll never see it. Oh, that's interesting. So you basically have to get like suggested to new subscribers. That's the only way to grow. Uh, well, and you know what it is too? It's like, so, so things do better when you get a lot of traction at first. So, and also it does like watch time is a thing. So if you get longer watch time, um, and if you get more engagement, so if people are like liking and commenting, that's how, that's how things grow. A lot of people ask me, they say, how do you grow on social media? And honestly, it's like everything. It's like, how do you lose belly fat? Which is something I've been working on. You really have to be consistent. You know, you can't just do it for a week and then stop doing it, which is my problem with everything in life. You know, it's just hard to be consistent with everything. Facebook, I like, cause I can just like live stream and then it's easy, you know, live streaming. It's great. I don't have to worry about editing it and then it's done. You know, somebody said, I can see trees. Yes. I have a, I have a nice house in LA. It's an apartment. Um, and then I have another place, uh, but I'm renting that one out. And then I have, I have like places that I'm renting out that, that are being rented basically now because I'm not there. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish I didn't buy something about a house before all of this happened just because now everything is, uh, now I'm like thinking of just like selling. Insane. We'll see. Steven said Rome wasn't built in a day. I know I've been doing uh, internet videos though for 10 years, okay? I know people who like just started, like that Charlie D'Amelio girl, she started last year and she's at like 60 million or something crazy on TikTok. I think it's like 70 million. Like that's insane. It's just like, I have 3 million. Like they ask, like they have like micro influencers. I think I'm considered micro. I think anything under 20 million is micro. Uh, live streaming is pretty good, especially if you take time to save your streams as VODs later. Why does that, why is that good, Robert? You're so smart. George, oh, George, he's like staring at the rabbit. Leave the freaking rabbit alone. No, come on. No, George, stop it, stop it. What is your problem, George? Why do you want to attack the rabbits all the time? They did nothing to you. Rabbits are nice, George. I don't understand him. I don't understand. I don't understand. 
<laughs> oh, what was your bid for the house? I don't remember. Are you currently dating? No, guys. There's a pandemic going on. All right? There's diseases and viruses and stuff. Come on, George, inside. I don't even go to the hairdresser. What's up, Mommy? You seem very stressed out. No, I was just, uh, you know, getting ready to... Getting... It's always hard. Awesome, Michelle. That's cool. We had a good walk. George, George wants to see uh, rabbits. Videos on demand, safe live streams. Oh, I saved them, yeah. Oh, thank you, Gary. I'm gonna warm up my lasagna. Oh, look at this lasagna. George is a schnoodle, he's a schnauzer poodle. Oh my goodness, Lauren, don't bug me. Uh, okay, I get this. That the, no, there's a special soap mom that apparently if you use it, it doesn't, um, it, it, it takes the bugs go away from you. Okay, what's it called? Grandma's don't bug me soap. Oh. How long should I put this in the microwave for? Well, I don't know. I put it in two minutes before. Two minutes? Oh, boy. So I so try a minute. See, I don't know if it kept warm. Oh, uh, Willow said, hi, Joanne. Hello. My mom doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't have her hat on, her thing. She's giving me a bad look like she wants me to hurry up and get off of my live stream. I haven't been live streaming for that long. My dad is still, my dad is binge watching this TV show. Daddy, what are you watching? This looks good. What is the show you're watching? Dad? Yeah. Why aren't you answering? What are you watching? Oh, I don't know. There's George. Oh, you okay, baby? Why you look so, why you look so hot? I'm gonna sit on the floor with him. Next door, it was boiling in there. Where are you going, George? I got the windows open, right? Yeah. You want treats? Did you eat dinner, George? Yeah. He ate? Yeah. Okay. He ate a lot of chicken. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. So, guys, anyone who has dogs and they, if they have heart problems or you don't want them to get heart problems, these are freeze dried chicken hearts. This is not sponsored but definitely really good. And, and I give him also liver, freeze-dried liver, because when they get older, you have to support their organs. George loves it. He loves it. There is, everything is family friendly here, Robert. I'm sorry, that's, I'm a Catholic girl, and my mom is very strict, Italian Christian woman. You know, I think it needs to be heated up more. She, uh, she grew up, her father was gonna be a priest. So, she's laughing. <laughs> so, so everything we do on here has to be family friendly. Otherwise, I get a call from her and my sister saying, oh my God, Lauren, even the stuff, even the stuff I do that's pretty family friendly. Or if I have a friend on who's cursing, oh my goodness, God forbid anyone curses. My mom does not like cursing, so. Apple crumble crusted. Where is that, Anthony? Dog treats? Yes. Aren't you worried you have to stay quarantined in LA's airport? Yeah, I am. I mean, I read about it and they said that, um, that, uh, what's it called? Uh, the quarantine, I guess, in, in LA, there is no quarantine. So, oh, did you just have ice cream, Mom? No. You made it look like you were all, all things. She's been eating ice cream. No, I, I asked the other half it's and I'm waiting for it to melt a little. Oh. I only eat a half at a time. All right. Ooh, so exciting. Lasagna. Oh, I got to get your uh, other things, too. I warmed up. What other things? Your favorite, your cauliflower. Oh, you warmed up my cauliflower? Yeah. Are they hot still? No. Let me put them on again. All right, she's gonna warm up my cauliflower. Holly said, friends, what's up Haley? How are you? I love the TV show, friends. It's a good show. I love that show. I'm watching an Australian show called, um, what the hell is the Australian show called? Mom, what's the show we were watching again? Um, Offspring. Offspring, so good. Yeah, no mandatory. I know, that's what I called the airport because I was wondering. So yeah, my little 
your little silky terry nikki is 10 oh he, george would love her george loves dogs he like he changes our walk and as you see like everything in my life i just have like doggy supplements everywhere is for george does your dad know gregory hines i think he worked with him before daddy have you worked with gregory hines what? do you ever work with gregory hines no. no i guess he doesn't know gregory hines i think my uncle might have worked my daniel worked with him no Hot. Oh my god, hot. 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 I just burned my tongue. That was really bad. Oh, when I find this stuff, yeah. Michelle, see if you get the pre-baked lasagna, okay? It's super easy with the pre-baked one. Your dad is like, can you do so can you go somewhere normal? I'm gonna go on live. I know my dad does not like the live streaming, the shooting videos. I was shooting TikToks in the kitchen and he just started screaming at me. He was like, he just like he's like, I'm watching TV! Stop it! I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to take really small bites. We have to go soon. So normally I don't eat and live stream, but I was like, I want to hang out with them and talk to them. Um, something that I really love about every house I go to, my grandmother who passed away was huge into like natural me medicine and like learning about different um, health uh, tips and tricks. And um, so there's all these books here, like the real age makeover, things you can do to keep yourself young so i definitely i definitely believe in that and i think that you know there's all sorts of things you can do so you don't need plastic surgery or anything that's bad for you i will be over for dinner <laughs> okay that's cute oh costco sells lasagna made from ravioli that sounds really good that sounds really good ben i haven't been to costco in a long time just because whenever like the the news would be on, it would show all these pictures of people waiting in lines and I just, I don't want to wait in line. Who are you? I just stumbled onto your live stream. That's cool. My name is Lauren. I do live streams, um, worshiping lasagna, you know, every live stream we do. I just like, I worship the lasagna. I'm like, thank you God for lasagna. No, <laughs> I'm just a girl. I don't know. Press the like button guys. When you follow someone, it's different than liking it. When you like, it automatically follows. It's weird. I don't get it. But thank you. Give DJ Bobby a shout out. Okay. Is he a nice guy? Is he sweet? Is he, is he respectful to women? These are all questions I want to know before I shot, shout him out. You know, she's on a diet. <laughs> That's why I'm taking really small bites. <laughs> someplace normal yeah i mean kind of a mess this is a this house is i i, I need it's all my mess everywhere i just i i'm like a tornado that's what ex-boyfriends would say to me they'd be like you're like the tornado in the looney tunes you just come in and out of rooms and destroy everything <laughs> yeah dinner with lauren i know isn't this nice we're it's like we're we're having a having fun together have you try a new style of lasagna? You know, it would be, I would like a vegetable lasagna. That would be good. You just showed up in my feed too. Not sure how it happened. Well, that's cool, Deb. Do you follow my page? I used to have, so I have people used to run my page for some reason. Like if you look at it, it says manage page and they would post like funny memes and then people would follow my page for the memes. So maybe you followed it and now you're just seeing it. Thank you for the support. And for hanging out with me why eat dinner thanks for being my like it's it's kind of like i'm out with my friends having dinner right now which i miss so much i like so miss my friends i said so, i would always go we would go out to dinner indian food and thai food and and mexican food but now i'm just i have my lasagna i love lasagna i'm not saying that i don't want lasagna but you know those are some of the things i miss <laughs> nowhere that's so weird deb but does it say you follow it just or just randomly suggested let me know i have to figure out what i'm doing to get people to watch that's pretty cool 
Um, but yeah, I miss going out to eat with my friends. It makes me like, every time I, I talk about it, I'm like, I'm going to call them after. But they're all like busy, quarantined with their significant others. And I mean, at least when life is normal, you can have like a girls night. Like it's been so long since I've hung out with my friends. Here I am crying. I'm like crying over my lasagna. Like, I just want to have friends again. Um, what are you having for dessert? I really don't eat dessert, um, because I'm on a diet. I miss going out to dinner too. Um, I'm on a diet. Oh, George. Uh, because I, I ate too much at first during quarantine. So, and I should even, I should have like a fourth of this, but we'll see. Have you been on a virtual date? No, but I've heard about virtual dates. I had people ask me on virtual dates, but... The idea kind of freaked me out. Some guys were like DMing me on Instagram, like, oh, let's go on a virtual date. And I was like, I don't know. There's like, I'm not like in the mood to date anyone right now. It's like terrifying. <laughs> like there's a terrifying thing going on. There's more to life than that. And I'm with my family, so. Let go, be vulnerable. Yes, lots. Of, I'll just start crying over the pasta. I can't take this Groundhog Day. When is it gonna end? <laughs> and there's so much like politic talk. I hate it. Even when I walk my dog, it's like the neighbors talk about politics. I'm just like, oh God, life. Two pounds a week isn't too fast. It's just been hard, you know? It's hard cause it's, it's hard to keep a schedule and it's hard because I'm not working right now, so that's hard. Um, I just, I'm normally an actor, and I don't know when that's going to go back to normal. Do you still talk to Carlos? Carlos, my dad talked to him. It's my uncle's birthday today. Happy birthday, Daniel, but he's um, at his girlfriend's. So, he's not here. But he told me Carlos called him, and, and Carlos bought a car. So, he bought like a... I think it was like 10 years old Mazda with 100,000 miles. I'm like, how much does Carlos makes money and then he just spends it. I'm like, what do you need a car in New York for? But anyway, I didn't get to yell at him yet. So so if he's tuned in or watching ever, guy sends it to him. Be like, Lauren totally yelled about you in her live stream about how you wasted your money. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I want to upset him. I am very cheap. I save. Because that's how you have, you know, you have to save. But a lot of my friends, like Carlos, as soon as he makes money, he goes nuts. Like, he orders stuff on Amazon. He lives with my uncle, so I see the boxes. I go visit, go to his house. And, like, one of the times I went, he bought, like, a $2,000 piano. Like, not, like, the electric piano. It's, like, the nicest electric piano. So, just, I don't know. You have to save your money right now, too, because you don't know when we're going to go back to work. It's pretty nuts. Mm. I love pasta. You have a friend of me. Thanks, Dana. I'm just sitting here. Slowly eating some lasagna. Wondering about the meaning of life. You ever have those moments where you're like, what is the meaning of all this? What does this mean? Why are things like this? And I'm listening to the dramatic mu music that my father's listening, watching some TV show playing in the background. Mm. And then he said, I'd want a car on an island. New York, though, do you ever... Driving in New York is not fun. I mean, and it's not easy because you need to have parking. So... He does not have parking where he lives. Do you know how much it sucks to, to drive a car when you don't have parking? Anyway. But I feel like a lot of people in New York actually are getting cars because they don't want to ride the subways after what's going on with this. So I think that's why. Actually, now that I think about it, it was probably a very smart idea for Carlos to buy a car. I've meditated on it. Um... <laughs> Because that's right. 
who wants to go on a subway right now? It's kind of dangerous still. So, you know, there's that. Nice to see actors and more celebrities in normal situations. I am not a celebrity. I, you don't understand, guys. So if any of you ever become an actor or your kids ever become an actor, you automatically think once they become like famous or they're on TV that they like change. It's like they morph into a Power Ranger or something. That is not the case. They are normal everyday people. Most of my friends that are actors are totally broke. Even really successful ones that have had their own TV shows and have been killing it, that, that have been nominated for awards. You want to know why? Because when people start getting successful and making money, they start spending it. And they just spend it and spend it and spend it. Like, some, like and it, all people have different personalities. Like, my personality, I was like, my grandmother helped raise me and she grew up in the Depression. So she was, like, super cheap, which is, thank God, she, like, taught me to save. But, like, people like, um, I don't know, I won't say her name, but she's a relative of mine, who just go out and buy cars and watches and, and just expensive things. And that's what a lot of people do when they become famous because now they're getting money that they didn't have before. But that fame doesn't last. So... Oh, wow. My God, guys, we should have done a video on this. My mom made the most amazing breaded cauliflower. This was my grandmother's recipe, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's like tastes like French fries, but I guess are they healthy? Yeah, they're healthy French fries. Yeah. So kind of like I don't know if you saw our chicken cutlet video. It's the same stuff that you did. You breaded the cut chicken cutlets with. Yeah. Yeah. Except I. Um, yeah, same thing. I dipped it in the, in the egg and then in the. The breadcrumbs. Mm. Really good. And she put it in the broiler. For how long? <laughs> I don't know. I, I did, let's say, I did five minutes, five minutes, that's ten. I did about 15 minutes because they were frozen. Oh, okay. It was the frozen cauliflower. It was a frozen. So if it's not frozen, it's less time in the but broiler. But it was much easier to do. Uh-huh. You know, because they don't fall apart. It was like, I dipped it into the, the egg and it was like so mm. hard. And then I dipped it in worked out mm. better to it was easier to prepare mm. so good mm. Robert that's awesome it's crazy guys but yeah celebrities are totally normal and they just want to be treated normal too you know they just want to be treated like normal people so but sometimes it's hard I get it I've met people that, like, I watched since I was a kid, and you get, like, starstruck, and you're like, oh, my God, I grew up watching you, and then they look at you like you're kind of crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I forget who I was talking to about this. Um, we are talking about, so I was talking to someone about this, and it was, like, the smart thing that people do when they get famous is make investments, like, buy buildings or buy something where they can keep reinvesting. So that they have somewhere to, their money will grow. Mm. Charlotte, yep, yeah, it's true. It's true, Robert. And it's pretty, it's pretty sad, you know. And a lot of the times too, like actors are not the best at business or saving money. So, so it's like they don't, they, they either hire people to manage their money. Like that's a really, that's a sad thing too is like. I know a lot of people who've gotten screwed over by their assistants. I mean, there's a story now. I think I met this guy once. I don't know. It's like a heartbreaking story. It's the kid who um, who designed that app. Apparently, like, I think his assistant was just arrested. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he's guilty or not. But it's a crazy story that, that he was found in his apartment, like, disfigured. Nuts. 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 And it's just, like, trusting the wrong people. You have to be so careful. Anyway. Mm. My mom just warmed all of this stuff up for me. Mom, this is way more than two fists. Two fists of what? I told you I can't eat bigger than two fists of food. We're on a diet. What are you talking about? Two, oh, two fists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, Robert. Or me. I never dated him, but he's a sweet guy. Robert is very sweet. Um, I never dated him. Um... I have a thing about uh, the guys I date all are very the same, much the same type. Robert's very sweet though. I met a girl he was dating. I love Robert. Two cauliflower fries, the best way to eat them. Mm. 
This might be the fourth time because my mom warmed this up twice. So I'm like, I would hate to see your normal servings. This is like twice as much food. I just ate like half of it. Yeah, Jim, it's crazy what happened to that guy. It's so crazy. I think I met him at the streamies, you know? It's just awful. It's like God awful. Like, what's going on? <laughs> oh. Tina said two fists. <laughs> Oh, mom. Yeah. I had a fire pit on my Amazon wish list and it looks like somebody ordered it. it yeah, it's big too. <laughs> but really, guys, thank you for the fire pit, whoever bought it off my wish list. I would really love one of those hot tubs. I thought it's just saying no. <laughs> He's saying no in the background. I know, Robert. It's horrible. It's so horrible. Lauren, how about the beans? Do you have room for those? No, I can't eat it. Ma, are you kidding me? You already warmed them up? Oh, wild bones. Oh, no. No, I don't think I warmed them up. Okay, we'll save them for tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just got a phone call. I had to ignore it. Anyway guys, yeah. Life is crazy. It's so crazy. I'm just sitting here. I got something for you or a wish list. Thank you, Angel. You're so sweet. You guys are so sweet getting stuff from my wish list. It makes me happy. I'm just like, that is the sweetest ever. It's really fun, too, to open stuff with everybody. I love it. And we get to share something together. I'm with you there about the hot tub. <laughs> Maybe wait till I get back to L.A. to order the hot tub I put on there. My father does not seem excited about it. My father always feels bad about the stuff on the wish list. Mmm. <laughs> a cask iron stillet. I think we have them. Um, I think we have one of those, a cast iron skillet. What is a cast iron? I gotta look it up. Any famous actors you dated? Well, I must not kiss and tell. I've dated a couple of actors. Um, not like serious. None, none of them were serious boyfriends. Because dating an actor is very hard. Um, me mentally, emotionally, physically. Just very hard. Because they're all always somebody else. Mahakita! <laughs> I'm eating the cauliflowers. Getting, yeah, I know, it's like Christmas every day. Mm. Yeah, Mike, everyone wants to know about my dating. It's really funny. Just know that I'm not very good at it. They have horrible taste. No, I'm joking. There are some of the, some ex-boyfriends are really sweet. But just wasn't where, it was timing, you know. The part of my life is, I mean, not now, because now there's nothing going on. But it's, it's hard because sometimes I'll book a movie or something. And I'll be gone for like three months. So you have to find somebody who's really emotionally stable, who's okay with you not being home for three months. Or somebody who doesn't mind that you live stream all day. How can I create a wish list? Oh, on Amazon. Oh crap. Just, this is sad. I just spilled this pasta on my shorts. I hate that. I hate that so much. What are you eating? Lasagna. I should stop eating it. Go for a real hot tub, not an inflatable one. I actually have a real one on my pool, but the problem is, is that the heater on the pool is broken, so. 
That's the problem. Isn't that a rule of thumb? Never date an actor. I know, guys. Definitely. Because why would you want to date? Like, sometimes I have to do movies or TV shows. I have to kiss somebody. Could you deal with dating someone that has to, like, you know, do that? Someone need to get you a bottle of water. I know. There's all empty. <laughs> empty water. There's salad over there. Do I want any salad? I don't know, guys. I'm just sitting here. Mm, it's okay. You don't have to pay for Amazon to, to get a free thing. And I just want to know why everyone is texting me and calling me right now. I keep getting missed calls. I have to turn it on Do Not Disturb when I live. For sure. Maybe I've blocked it. I don't see it. I don't see that. Oh. Don't be gross, guys. It offends people. <laughs> Mm. Smart water is good water. Life out low. I'm not fixing the pool. <laughs> Put that on my Amazon wish list. Somebody please fix my pool. <laughs> Are you bummed out tonight? Leslie, I just feel bummed out in general. <laughs> in general. <laughs> Tonight's not different than yesterday. Or the night before that. Or the night before that. I just, I, I want this... I want everything to go back to normal. I want to stop hearing about people dying. I want everything to be positive and happy. But it's hard. It's hard because this is life. And that's what I have to keep telling myself. Yeah, Stephen, but wouldn't you think that they saw me live streaming and they would be like, oh, she's live streaming. We can't talk. Hey, Jason, what's going on? How are you? Were you at a party last week? No, Robert. <laughs> I have not been to a party in a very long time. Months. Years, it feels like. I, I think of those times in the water I was thinking about traveling. It's like, I remember going to Sundance. I was thinking about Baltimore Film Festival. My friend runs this awesome film festival in Baltimore, and it's coming up, I think, in September. Because uh, I went last year. That's what started this whole chain of events of me staying here. And um, I was just thinking about how, I, like, you know, it's great. Like, they put you up in a hotel. You get to, like, visit places. You get to go on a plane. And now I'm not going to be traveling for a while. It's just annoying. George is on the floor licking his foot. George! He does not care about me right now. Yeah. Stop watching the news. I know. Jeremy, no. You see it on Facebook, though, too. I was very upset. Phyllis Summer, uh, Somerville passed away. I'm very upset about that. Robert said, isn't it canceled? Everything has been canceled. Like, literally. Everything is canceled, including, like, everybody I grew up watching YouTube videos about. Oh! What books do I like to read? So, before I put these up, I love books about kind of like self-help or health books books about crystals my crystal book is over there and this is what I'm reading right now oh my god this is really good um it's by uh Penny Pierce it's about being intuitive I really like that book I also have a bunch of plays like that I work with different monologues like there's a play back there I I'm addicted to reading I read like five books at a time it's pretty pretty sad not sad but you know uh what are you guys reading let me know if there's any books I should read. Thank you, Keith. Hola. Mm. It's crazy. It's really crazy, Robert. I don't know what's going on. When things are, if things are going to go back to normal. Like, I keep hearing people going back to work, things going back to normal, but I haven't seen... Oh, nice, Leslie. Awesome. Which which book should I read? Let me know. Glenn said, I'm tired of you. Oh, my God. Tears. You're going to make me cry. Oh, Daddy. Tina said, Yankees 5, Mets 0. <laughs> George, George eats all... 
George eats um, all meat. And um, I tried to get, I got him squash and all these vegetables to mix with his food, but he refuses to eat it. I've been to a lot of holistic vets and they all say, they all say uh, or organic food that you would eat yourself. Great book. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, I love reading. Uh, Robert Palmer, Addicted to Love. It's not a song. <laughs> love your realness. You gotta be real. Why bother? I hope so, Brian. I hope so. My poor parents are gonna have to figure out what to do. Do you enjoy playing and, wa and or watching baseball? No. I'm honest. My dad really loves baseball. So guys, I was just eating um, breaded cauliflower. Really yummy, it was in the broiler. My favorite band is Radiohead. Um, Paranoid Android is my favorite song. Um, I ate some lasagna and some cauliflower. Probably shouldn't have eaten so much of it. That's a great song. Oh, Addicted to Love? Yeah, I love that song. Um, yeah. Try reading Sherlock Holmes. So oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Here's a bottle of water. Have you thought about buying the lake house for your parents? I've thought about it. I've thought about it, but I wouldn't live here year round. Just moved to New Jersey. I tell them, be like, guys, sell your house in New York. Let's just all move here. <laughs> I don't know how they feel about it. They have so much stuff in their house. I don't know where we'd put it all. Uh, so everyone is being decently respectful human beings and viewers. I know, isn't that amazing? <laughs> how do I say this? Um, Jose, is it? What is it? Uh, Hozu? Ah, uh, Radiohead, okay, computer. Um, probably, probably one of my all-time favorite Radiohead. I mean, that and In Rainbows, definitely, and The Bends, and, um, I mean, there's so many, so many Radiohead, uh, tracks that I just love. I love them. Oh, I should brush my hair. I just found a brush at the table. It's bad. My mom would be angry. What time is it there? I don't know. Time to go back to New York, I guess. I'm going back to New York soon. Guys, this brush is amazing. It's a, it's a fake Mason Pearson brush I got on Amazon. I don't get paid for, for talking about it, but it was $17. My mom's Mason Pearson brush was $200, and it honestly feels the same. Sunday fun day. I did go to college, Leslie. I have a bio degree. Um, I went to Fordham in New York Tech. Uh, I was I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a DO, and um, I ended up being an actor. <laughs> but um, the whole my whole time growing up, I went to performing arts high school, so I was always acting like my whole life. My parents are actors, singer, dancers. I was in the dance program though for high school because I had a scholarship to Alvin Ailey, and I wanted to. My dream was to not go to college and be. I wanted to be a music video dancer. And that's why I told all my teachers and they're like, oh my God, Lauren, because I, I was really smart. I think I graduated. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Yeah, I graduated like third in my class or something crazy. I had a scholarship to Fordham. I just didn't, I wasn't crazy about Fordham. That's why I transferred. I wanted to go to uh, Nikon for medical school. So that's why I transferred. And anyway, um, I wanted to go to LA and just become a, a, a music video dancer. And then my teacher started crying. She was like, she's like, you're like my best student. You're just going to go dance in music videos. And I was like, yes, that is my dream. I want to be a backup dancer. <laughs> no, Lauren. So she, they like forced me two weeks before applications were supposed to be out. She's like, please just do this. See where you get in. And then I got like scholarships. So I decided to just, you know, use my scholarships and then uh, go, go to school. And I kind of stopped really acting and dancing and then in college I always did theater in college just because I loved theater it was just like a fun hobby thing I, I was in like the theater program I wasn't getting credits for it it was like a like some people got credits I just I already had it I had too many credits already I was doing like I think 21 credits which was the max a semester 
because uh, I was a science major and the lab, the, the science labs were always a lot of credits. So I just did theater. Like I could have gotten the credits, but I had too many credits. So I just did it as a, like a, a volunteer thing. And I just really missed it. I loved it. And then I started modeling. I got into modeling because um, like I was at a party and I had just gotten dumped and some photographer was there and I never would have taken pictures. But this photographer was like, oh, like, let me take your picture. So I was just like, I was just wanting to like piss off an ex-boyfriend because I was like, oh yes, people think I could be a model and you just broke up with me, you know? <laughs> so after that happened, I started getting all these acting jobs. It was just this weird snowball thing of like, I started getting followers because people were seeing who I was. And then I booked like Key of Awesome in, in college. And I graduated uh, magna cum laude and I was president of the honor society and just, yeah. And I was really going to go to medical school, but I didn't end up going. <laughs> I ended up, I ended up acting. I was like, I finally started getting, cause in high school I didn't get that many acting jobs. I think it was cause I always looked older. So in college I started getting all these acting jobs and I was just thinking, wow, I can get paid for doing something I like. And at the same time I interned for a plastic surgeon who was just like the worst person on the planet. My, I was a 3.9 in college. Um, I was, I, I, I did, I didn't do good. I had a quantitative analysis lab. I didn't, I didn't do as well. And I was really pissed about it. I remember crying. I was just like, you're messing up my whole GPA. So, but anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, I ended up, um, I ended up not going to medical school. He used to be you that I know, I know, Leslie, I know. And then I ended up just doing uh, acting. And then I started I, when I did Key of Awesome, I got all these followers. So I was like, oh, followers, this is a thing. It was before like people were really like YouTubers and stuff. I just kept making my own content. So um, sometimes I regret it. But when I worked for that plastic surgeon, he was horrible. He was like, our job, my job, I was an intern there. And my job was to like convince these older women that they needed like Botox and fillers. And I'd see them go and they would look, they would just look like, you know, not great with the Botox and fillers. And I just, I couldn't lie. I'm like, I can't lie to this woman. I feel bad. And she was just like, oh, I have my daughter's wedding, you know? And I guess, I mean, I don't know. I guess she looked good. But at the same time, I was just like, I don't, I feel, I feel like morally wrong trying to like trying to convince people to do that what is good for making hair thicker okay michelle so like stimulating your blood flow to your head right so if you could do exercises i know this sounds crazy but i'm crazy uh yeah my parents are smart my grand my mom's side of the family is all doctors uh so they they're the ones who really wanted me to go <laughs> My grandparents, they were so upset. Uh, doing headstands uh, helps or just like doing exercises. Like they say a lot of yoga exercises help circulation. Um, and that's true. Like a lot of reasons that women lose their hair, it's because of their circulation. And they'll like, that's how you get like female pattern baldness. And then also if your scalp, if the pores on your scalp get clogged. So, so that's something. Um, that's why I like the essential oils are good, but not too much oil. Um, also, also, um, the biotin, I'll do a hair video tomorrow on my Instagram, but I take pills, uh, supplements for my hair and just, you have to make sure the supplements are gluten-free and just, you know, a lot of supplements, you're not sure if they're good or not. You just have to make sure they're good before you do it. Drinking water, drinking water. Um, I did a video with this company called Bosley. They're like the leaders. They're the leaders in um, hair loss uh, and just not hair loss and like making either growing back, helping you grow back your hair or doing hair transplants. Um, and the sad thing about female hair loss is that uh, it's harder for females to, to get their hair back after you lose it. So you want to make sure you want to make sure that you're you're always taking care of it and doing the things. I I'm really passionate about this because my grandmother went bald and I've been terrified. I was so scared because I love my hair so much. So my grandmother lost her hair. Um, so you really have to make sure you're taking the right correct vitamins for your scalp. It's so important. 
So yeah, I'm always doing things I can for my hair and my scalp. And the only thing that's really bad is the dyeing it. And that's what's been making it super thin. That's why I always put oils in it. But this brush has actually helped me a lot. Um, I don't know if you remember, I did a video, like there was a video I live I did where, um, where it had like so many little knots in the hair. And ever since I started using this brush, it's helped. I think brushes and then I'll, I'll put it in a braid every day. So the braid will help not keep it knotted, but also massaging your scalp. Like you can go on YouTube and find head massages for circulation. There's uh, certain acupressure points that you could, uh, you can massage. Just Google like acupuncture, acupuncture, acupuncture points. Also lymphatic drainage is a huge thing too um, for your whole circulation and losing weight. But yeah, has your hair ever been short? Once Leslie, my sister, my sister who never wanted to play with me growing up I'm not gonna give you the whole my sister and me didn't get along speech because now she's great she's wonderful but she was like oh we're gonna play today and I was so excited because I she never would want to play with me because she was so she was a lot older than me so I was just like the bratty annoying sister basically but she's like we're gonna play today and I'm like okay she's like we're gonna play dress up and I'm like awesome like you know I never played dress up with her before and she's like I'm gonna give you a makeover and I'm just like amazing I want to I've always wanted a makeover you know I watched like you know I was like five I was I had just seen Clueless or something and for the first time and I was like I want a makeover so she brushes all of the knots out of my hair my hair was always super long it was like probably to my butt and I had this like just really long hair so she brushes it all out it looks really pretty and I remember like looking in the mirror at it and then she gets the scissors and she cut it like a boy and she cut it like a boy it was horrible my mom got home she was so mad we had to go to the beauty salon and they would fix it and they fixed it but it was really, it was like to my ears. And after that, I was just, I was traumatized. I was so traumatized. And I've never had short hair again. I think I was five. I just remember like seeing myself and seeing, and just crying. I was like, why would she do that to my hair? You remember that, mommy? No, not, I, I remember her cut, but I don't remember how she cut it. I can't remember. It was really bad. I was like to my ears. Take a picture of it? I don't remember. I was like five, I think, Leslie. I just, I just remember like, like being excited and then being really disappointed. And after that, I've never cut my hair again. <laughs> I, whenever I go to the hair salon, I get terrified. Honestly, I cut my own hair now. I didn't, I didn't do a haircut for a while. Be a trail, definitely, Leslie. I didn't do a haircut for a while. Um, because whenever I go, because my hair is so long, they like to play. So I just, I watched a YouTube video on how to do it. And I'm pretty good at like just doing my own things. I don't recommend it for everyone, um, but I'm pretty good at, at doing it. And when you have longer hair, it's easier to not make up. Oh, happy birthday, Gabriel. Oh, that's amazing, Jim. It's hard to keep long hair because you get split ends. And I honestly, I like to just cut off the split ends. That's something I do that helps. But um, I think I'm gonna have to go soon because they're getting ready. They're getting ready to go. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me and um, good luck everyone. Thank you for following me everywhere. I know Steve, it was a long time ago, but never again. Well, she cut her daughter's hair though recently and it came out really good. So I think she's learned since then. <laughs> but anyway, guys, all right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Oh, tell us about Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash I want my Lauren. I stream, I live stream there every day, post pictures, and it's kind of like Facebook, but it's like a version that's private. All right. Bye. See you soon, guys.